Hello and happy Monday. Today, for our live coaching call and community conversation, we are going to be talking about the reasons why women should be strength training and what strength training might mean for you as a woman here in our community. If you are new, welcome. My name is Diane Parham. On Mondays and Thursdays here on YouTube and Facebook at noon Central Standard Time, we talk about something that is relevant to us as aging women in the world today, and we usually uh, lead with the practice of intermittent fasting. I am the creator of the online course, Intermitt The Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman. Our August 2022 class is started and our women are well underway. So if you're joining us today and you're in the August class, please let us know. If you're a graduate of our course and are here in our community, we also love to hear from you as well. A quick change today, uh, and I'm going to ask for a little favor for you. Um, if you are joining us and you want to ask a question at the end of our conversation today and get some coaching on that from me and you're joining us from YouTube, I am going to ask that you subscribe first. I have set the um, notifications in the comment section on YouTube so that you actually have to subscribe in order to ask a question or leave a comment. That way we are in control of um, all the questions and comments that are coming in because they have been fast and furious as of late and I wanna make sure that we are getting the time that we need to answer those questions and comments and make sure that they are actually from women here in our community. So I thank you for that. And if you're joining us on uh, Facebook, if you follow, you'll also be uh, given a uh, little like banner uh, next to your name, letting you know that you're in our community as well. So let's get started on today's conversation. Strength training. What I want you to do in the comment section, I'm gonna post a question in the comment section. I want you to answer in the comment section, what does strength training mean to you as a woman? Because it really should mean a lot of different things to us because we are individuals, right? And oftentimes what happens to any sort of physique type of environment, especially with women and strength training, or if you're in the cardio world or CrossFit or whatever it is that you're doing, there's a lot of judgment and there can be a lot of shame associated with a exercise genre, just the same way there is with nutritional genres, right? And so what I want us to talk today about is how we can define strength training for us as individuals so that we can get what we say that we want for ourselves based on the decisions that we're making. Oftentimes, fitness as nutrition is marketed to us from the emotional standpoint. And we are being marketed to from the perfect image of a woman's body. And oftentimes perfection is really hard, if almost impossible for us to achieve if we're just doing what the everyday woman is doing. I've shared, and you can go on my YouTube channel or Facebook page to watch the video I did about my before and afters with the strength training program and how when they took my pictures, they only pu uh, publish the front uh, side of my body because I don't have a picturesque backside when it comes to strength training and what they were trying to market. I didn't have the peach bum, which everyone is trying to aspire to have. And oftentimes those are not attained through programs. And oftentimes they are uh, obtained supplement supplementally. No shame in the game for anyone who has to do anything supplementally to have the body that they say that they want for themselves. But we as women need to do our our work on us to make sure that the lens that we're looking through when we're judging or choosing an exercise program is the most healthy one for us based on the results we want to get based on the results the body of the body that we have been blessed with and what those expectations are. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And then we're also going to make sure that we're talking about the importance of strength training as a lifestyle choice for our future self as aging women. So love your guys' comments in there about what strength training uh, means to you. So let's get to what I love to do here. This is what strength training means to me. For me, strength training mentally is not my favorite thing to do. I'm a runner. I love to run. I want to stay in the running game 
for years, decades to come. So I have created a mindset for myself where strength training is the thing I build into my uh, physical fitness routine so that I can stay in the game of running and show up as my best running self. I don't want to get injured. I don't want to throw out a back. I don't want to uh, bust a knee. I don't want to have a hip go out on me. So I have added in strength training so that I can be a more efficient runner for years to come. I also incorporate strength training so I can have strong bones. I've also incorporated strength training because I hope to be able to pick up grandkids down the road. When my kids have kids, if they decide to have kids, I want to be able to actively participate in the lives of my children and hopefully their children. I strength train to help aging parents in our family or aging members of our community. I want to be able to support them physically. And so that means I need to have a strong body to be able to do that. I also strength train to feel good in my body. I love the feeling of muscles that are being worked. I don't necessarily have to have muscles popping out everywhere, but when I get a good strength training workout in, I feel strong in what my body is. And I love that feeling mentally and emotionally. So I have picked up strength training for that reason. I love in the event that you ever have to live alone, you want to be able to move about your life freely with no limitations. I don't ever want to be that woman that falls down and cannot get up. So I strength train to make sure that I can push my own body up off a couch, up off the floor, up off a bus stop, up out of a boat, wherever it is we're vacationing. Like I want to be able to make sure that I can move on my own accord without limitations. I want to be able to make sure that I can carry in groceries, push the cart around Costco. That's really heavy. Move furniture in my home. Like those are all the reasons that I have really committed to strength training in the past probably 10 years as a woman who is aging because I want to show up for my life. The beautiful thing about when you take the focus off of your physique and what you think you're supposed to look like based on what you've been advertised uh, by, and you do these kind of things and incorporate strength training for these reasons, then the body shows up just like we do with intermittent fasting. If you fast long and you feast well and you don't focus on the weight, your body will show up for you because you're not focused on it and you're just doing all the right things. And then the big reason why I strength train is I want a vacation without limitations. I don't know about you, but I've worked really hard in my life to get to a place where I can vacation the way I want to vacation financially, time-wise, flexibility, freedom-wise, and I don't want my lack of care for my own body to set limitations on how I have dreamed for my future to spend my days on vacation. So reframing why we're doing something like strength training can really bring the joy into it, especially if it's not, if it hasn't been your favorite thing in the past to do. And I am guilty of that. Strength training has never been my favorite thing. Now, I'm going to say really quickly for my cardio junkies out there, myself included, you can participate in cardiovascular uh, opportunities and still benefit from strength training. That's what an incline is for on a treadmill. That's what a resistance knob is for on a bike. So you can build in some strength training while you're also doing the thing that you love, while you're working your way into maybe incorporating some of these reasons why you're strength training as well. Okay, here's what I love about when we focus on the things that I just listed as a reason why we're strength training. Here's what happens by complete default. We don't really have to do a whole lot to make these things happen. Excuse me, they just happen because we feel strong. Physical strength translates to mental strength because you're doing hard things, because you have achieved something that you've worked hard for. It also creates emotional strength. You believe and have faith in your body that you can take care of yourself because you're doing the hard things. You're able to push yourself off the ground. You can participate in the activities going on in your life. When you have physical strength, you will also have 
better relationships because you show up more confidence for yourself. You have that I can attitude because you in fact can show up for your life in the way that you want to. Your career will benefit. Your decision-making process will benefit. How you walk into a room will completely change because you will have pride in the body that you are living in. Your shoulders will be pulled back. Your head will be held high. You will have that sense of empowerment because you have created a strong body. Think about strength training from this standpoint and where it can translate into your life and how does that look and feel for you. You guys know here we have a a saying that we say all the time here. Every woman should have the opportunity to wake up every day looking and feeling her best and doing that in her most authentic way. This is part of that equation for us. It's not always just about how long you fast or what you're deciding to eat in your feasting window. This is the third component, that trifecta to aging successfully and creating a strong body that can go with your strong mind, your strong emotional makeup, and how it is you are deciding to show up for yourself in your life. We don't want to be the damsels in distress. I don't want to have to rely on the guy behind me on the airplane to put my over my uh, carry-on bag in the overhead compartment. I want to be able to do that for myself. And I would also love to be able to do it for the person behind me or the person in front of me who's struggling. I want to be able to. What do you want to be able to and adapt your strength training around the answers that you get from that question? If you have a block about strength training, go to the list that I provided up here. See if there's anything in here that you are feeling nervous about as an aging woman. If you feel like you're going to miss out on anything in your life because you're physically not strong enough to participate, it is never too late to get started. Make the decision today, start incorporating it into your routine, rotate it in and create the mindset that a strong body is also a strong mind and a strong mind and a strong body in a woman is a woman that is absolutely unstoppable. And that's what we're creating here in our community. Okay. Questions and comments in the comment section. I'm going to go in. If you're on uh, joining us from YouTube and you haven't been able to put a question or comment in, just hit that subscribe button and then you can go ahead and put a comment. My friends on Facebook, make sure you're following over there and we'll get to your comments as well. We love having a dual community here to ask ask questions and get some uh, answers. Celine, my French goddess, uh, June 22 student, uh, I assure you you're doing the right thing with the best coach, Diane. Parham. Thank you so much, my friend. I always love when your cheery personality pops into our comment section. Uh, Shana, July 22 graduate, you must strength train. It does amazing things for your body. Yeah, it absolutely does. And for your mind and everything else as well. Susan, July 22 grad. One of my challenges was to find the time to strength train. Cardio is, cardio is so fun. Girl, I agree. And easy for me. Well, now with this so simple 24 lifestyle, I I have more time and can easily lift weights. Yeah. And here's the thing again, right? We have to be careful who we're listening to and who we're following. You can get a very dynamic, powerful, body changing strength training workout in, in 15 to 20 minutes a day. You just got to be able to hit what it is you're trying to hit for the reasons you're trying to hit it. You do not have to spend hours in the gym throwing around heavy plates. Create a strength training program that's going to allow you to live the life that you say that you want and you can be in and out of that gym in no time. Lisa, I learned so much from your videos. I plan to sign up. Girlfriend, we'd love to have you. September 3rd is our next intermittent fasting for today's Aging Woman course. Registration is open as it always is. As soon as we close the last registration, we are already filling up for our September 3rd course. So if you know you want to jump in with us in September, I always recommend just signing up and saving your spot in class for sure. There were a lot of upset people with me this weekend who missed the August registration. Don't be that girl. Um, Have I written any books? No, I'm not a book writer kind of girl. I would much rather sit here and talk to you guys on video. Um, If someone would like to write a book for me, maybe I would get a book published, but writing a book is just not in my bucket list of things to do. But thank you for asking. Sarah, best way to spend lunch. I'm so happy. Excited about this topic because I want to add weights to my routine, but still unsure whether it's better to do lighter weights with more reps or pick up a little more weight. Girlfriend, you got to play around with that, right? And And then figure out what it is you want as the end result 
result. So the way you incorporate strength training is going to be based on what it is that you say that you want. And then you build from there and then just keep evaluating the same thing like we do inside the intermittent fasting course. You want to track your fasting and track your feasting for a little while, see where some bumps kind of come up in the road, do the same thing with your strength training and then build and switch and do all kinds of fun things and keep it fresh. And, and then you won't have to worry about any of those things. It's all going to play out for you. Babs Becker, um, August 22 class, like the fasting need to be better feaster and need to start the training girlfriend one step at a time enjoy your intermittent fasting week. Give yourself permission to put your workouts on hold, pause for a week or two. The feasting part will start to make sense once the fasting has been solidified for you. It just makes sense. So give yourself this week to just enjoy everything that's going on. The feasting part will start to kick in next week, and then you can start incorporating training that makes sense for you. You'll be able to do it without guilt. You'll be able to do it without pressure, and you will, you will be able to find the joy in what it is you do in your physical fitness once you get the fasting and the feasting part because you'll change why it is you're going to be training. Super fun. Hello, August 22 class. Love it. Strength training equals weights and aerobic. Um, awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. I think that's great too. What, you know, oftentimes we don't think about things like running a marathon as being strength training, but my friend, let me tell you, if you're going to train for any sort of, uh, event where you have to pick a day one and you pick a day that you have to show up, that is also strength training. So if you're a person who's a runner, or maybe you're doing a bike challenge, or you're going to do some swimming race or something like that. I also put that in the bucket of strength training because man, if you don't come out of that a stronger person, I don't know. So we got to make sure we're careful about how judgy we get with our brain as well. Sylvia, I'm in the current course. I love it. I'm excited to feel good after two days of 24 fasting, two days. And she's feeling good, y'all. I'm telling you, this class is amazing. It will change your life. Kathy, I'm in the August class and so glad I joined. Fasting is much easier with support and accountability. I just ended an 18 hour fast and I'm going for 20 tomorrow. Congratulations, my friend. Margaret, weightlifting. Fantastic. I love that. Um, so my friends from the August class are talking to each other, Erica, strength training means health to me. I hope to get back to it one day. Insomnia is making it impossible. August 22. Well, let me tell you, let me give you this to think about today, Erica. What if getting back to strength training was what you needed to end the insomnia as opposed to putting strength training on hold because of insomnia, change those words around in how it is your brain is thinking through that and see if you can open up an opportunity to get back to strength training and see what that does for your insomnia. Neetha, hello from India. I love you. Well, my friend, I love you back. There are There's so much I want to say. I have just been on 24 since August 1st, but feel so much better already. I just have water for 20 hours and I'm feeling so good. Neetha, that's how you're supposed to feel. So congratulations and thank you for trusting me with you and just keep rinsing and repeating and I promise you that feeling that you have will stick. Chris, I'm in the August class and excited for this opportunity. I'm 74 and look forward to living my most authentic life and I am blessed that I am blessed with. Thank you, Diane, for your enthusiasm and frankness. You are welcome, my friend. Um, and I love that you jumped into class with us and I hope you've realized and thank you for saying your age. I'm 56 for anybody that wants to know. Um, so many women in their 70s are um, weary of joining the class because they feel like they're going to be alone. We have women in their 30s. We have women in their 40s. We have women in their 50s. We have women in their 60s. We have women in their 70s. We might even have some women in their 80s in class. And I think the oldest woman that we've had in our class was in her 90s. And she was loving it. So don't be afraid or let those limitations of your age keep you from having the opportunity to look and feel your best. It works for everyone. Sandra, hand weights, squats, deadlifts, mixed with cardio and walking. I also started back to water aerobics. Yes, that's all strength training. I was an, uh, a water aerobics instructor. It was my favorite class to teach. I love water aerobics. It's going to do some great things for you for sure. Pamela, August class. I would highly recommend joining a class, learning to fast correctly and feasting right. Thank you for the great information. You are welcome, my friend. And you've only had two lessons so far. Just wait. It gets better with time. We're just going to keep building on everything that you're learning. I love having you in class with us. Sandy, uh, need suggestion for free back to the beginning strength training for 60 plus. Thank you. Uh, here's what I always recommend if you're looking for free and basic. See how long you can hold a plank with good form, 
and confidence, time it. See how many push-ups you can do on your knees with good form and confidence. Start there. Walk up and down stairs. Um, we're, we're looking at functional fitness and not performance fitness, right? So how do you want to function throughout your day? Do you want to go up and down stairs with ease? Walk up and down some stairs. Find some hills in your neighborhood. Uh, do some plank work. Do some push-ups. Uh, do some squats. You don't need any weights for that. Just use body weight. Simple moves. Can you, can you uh, hinge? Can you squat? Can you push? Can you pull? Those are the four areas you want to make sure that you are functionally fit in and just make something up until you can find something that you can do. Lisa, uh, in the August class, I love strength training. I do both weight and body weight classes on Peloton. Yep, I do too, my friend. Are you following me on Peloton? I love strength training on Peloton. Uh, it's the easiest way to get in and out for sure on those boot camps and all that kind of stuff. Super fun. So uh, glad that you're into that as well. Angela, weights, band, or body weights, resistance is an effort to build muscle and gain body recomposition. 100%. Gracie says strength training to her is weights and resistance bands. I love it. VW or Vicky August class member doing great with the 20 hour fast. Actually feel great. Actually feels great. We are on lesson two. Girlfriend, it just gets better with time. Uh, Davina, building muscle and more endurance. That's an excellent way to define strength training for yourself for sure. And then when you have those two like kind of categories, then start to break it down to what those actual activities are for you. And my friend, you will be strong for sure. Uh, Mindy, being strong enough to learn new activities without injury and to promote continued mobility as I age. Girlfriend, we should put that on a t-shirt 100%. We need to get out of the aesthetics aspect of what we do physically and really think about how we are able to show up in our life in a physical way. And can we do that confidently? And can we do that without injury? And how long are we going to prepare our bodies to stay in the game? Perfect. Carmen, my friend, if you guys... Don't yet follow Carmen on YouTube. Y'all should go look her up on YouTube. She has an amazing YouTube channel where she shows you how to um, sew really cute uh, outfits for yourself. And she's a graduate of the intermittent fasting course as well. I've been doing dumbbell metabolic workouts four days a week for eight months. Strain training for me is keeping my bones strong and having good posture and looking toned. Yes, the good posture part is very important as well. We want to walk into a room with confidence. We want to have our shoulders pulled back. We want to have our back straight. All of that comes from feeling strong with, from within. And Carmen, I know you are a perfect example of that. Maria, I'm in the August class and I'm doing my 20 hour fasting now. Strength training for me is doing my walking exercise daily. Perfect, my friend. Perfect. Uh, Concetta, strength training to me has always meant picking up weights or using weight machines, all of which are really unappealing to me. Then you get to redefine what strength training is for you based on what it is that you say that you want. If you don't feel excited about going in and using weight machines or picking up weights, then figure out another way. Do you have hills in your neighborhood that you can go walk up? Can you do some push-ups at home? Can you do some plank work? Can you do some core work? Can you do some squatting? Can you, like there's a million things that you can do with your own imagination to create a strength training program that you will actually love. Get a couple girlfriends together. Go take some resistance bands out on a walk and find a pole or a bench and wrap a resistance band around and do some, do some strength training for your upper body that way, uh, step up and down on a curve. Like there's a million things we need to do. We just have to be creative and then figure out what we want that work to lead us to. Sylvia, this is so good. I have no conviction whatsoever on physical activity, but I am willing to learn because I'm not 20 anymore. Um, if you live in San Francisco, I don't know if you live in San Francisco. I see your picture there, or maybe you were vacationing there. We went on a vacation to San Francisco and we walked, we got a hotel at the top of the hill in San Francisco. I don't know what the street name is. And we walked down to the wharf every single day and we had to walk back home. Um, and that was our vacation in San Francisco. We walked it. Uh, we also did like a two hour, um, I don't know, it's like a scooter type of thing all around San Francisco. And that took some strength as well, right? So you have to be willing to figure out what it is you want first 
and then do the activities to support that. So if you live in San Francisco, go for and just put some shoes on and go for a walk. You will have all kinds of opportunities. Mary, August class. When I work on weights, I sleep better. It has been hard lately to go three times per week. I have been traveling a lot. Okay, so give yourself some grace, right? Fast, long, feast well, train smart. So if your life is busy right now or you're in a season where you can't be perfect, you just give yourself permission to take a pause and you jump back in when you can. And then you just got to be okay with that decision. Jeanette, strength training for me is usually body weight resistance bands or weights for upper, uh, for strength in upper body, lower and core, 100%. Georgia, good day, Diane. I'm in the August class. L loving it so far. Fantastic, my friend. Just getting started. Simone, I enjoy the feeling of tired muscles after a work workout. I also do cardio training. I enjoy both. Yes, and you can do both. So enjoy what you enjoy, my friend. Don't let anybody tell you any different. And there is that sense of I can do hard things that sets into your mindset when you have a really good strength training workout. And I'm glad that you've connected that for you. Chris, I've always disliked strength training. Haven't done it in my, uh, haven't done it in my 74 years. Perhaps there's some form I need to do thinking. Find something that you love based on what it is that you want to get from it, right? So again, we have been duped into believing we have to buy a program or we have to be at the gym or we have to have a personal trainer in order to participate. And that's just not true. You can create a strength training program for yourself by using your imagination. What do I want to pull today? What do I want to push today? What do I want to squat today? How do I want to pick something off the ground? And you can practice those types of movements in your own home and just supplement with a bag of sugar or a couple cans of olives or whatever it is to slowly start adding in some of that resistance as well. Anna, strength training is great for age agility. I was, I was going to say age agility, agility and flexibility and strong to do my daily task. 100%. 100%. Fazia, Fazina, I think it is. Thanks a million coach. Wouldn't have pulled it through without your motivation. Been on 20 hour fast for two weeks and I lost one and a half kilograms. Congratulations, my friend for doing the work. Andrew. Hello. Let's hide Andrew. Um, Wanda. Let's see what Wanda's got. Oh, how did I block? I didn't, okay. I feel my best combining weightlifting and yoga. The weightlifting strengthens my muscles and the yoga really improves my balance and flexibility because of the emphasis on core strength. That's another great description. And we do have to think about um, that balance and flexibility if you're a runner and as an aging woman, right? I am a woman who falls down all the time. It's just, it's who I am. I move fast. I talk fast. I am a fast person and I am, I have been falling down my whole life. So I do a lot of work on my balance so that if I trip, I have a better chance of catching myself without getting injured before I fall. So we have to kind of know that about ourselves too. Like where are some of the areas that we have had some difficulty um, going through life? And for me, it is that falling down all the time. And so I really do work on that as well. So I want to thank you for pointing that out. Uh, Anna, I totally agree with everything you are saying. It's my own sentiment. I'm 68 years old and live on my own and do everything on my own. Yes. And you're capable. That's the thing you want to keep reminding yourself is I am capable of doing things on my own so that you make sure that you're showing up to keep that kind of mindset and ability as well. Becky, I use YouTube to find exercises using weights and I walk on treadmills every day. I've been watching your videos for a while now. I just started 24th end of July. I have lost 35 pounds since March. I've learned so much from you. Love this lifestyle. Becky, congratulations to you. And I could tell you're super active and you're, is that like a canoe or something that you're in? Good for you, my friend. Gloria, uh, unless you're too short, unless you're too short for what? I don't know what that was. AK, how much strength training do you recommend weights amounts and times per week? You have to figure that out for you based on what it is you say that you want. So I don't, I don't, I'm not your trainer or your, um, you know, fitness coach in that aspect of things. And so I don't throw out recommendations because it would just be me throwing a dart at a wall and it might not apply to you. How much time do you have? How many resources, how much resources do you have? What feels good to you? Like you create that schedule for you. Becky, I also stopped using deodorant and I'm so amazed I didn't need it. You guys, I give out all kinds of cool tools here uh, and tips for you guys to have an easy uh, life. Yeah, deodorant is 
it's a trip. So congratulations, my friend. And as an active person, it's like amazing, right? You don't stink if you don't stink. Uh, Nitha, I love what you say about getting rid of the drama behind eating many small meals or three big meals. So much drama. Life is so much easier now. 100%. We have too many other things to stress out about. We don't need to worry about that. Just let it fall where it falls. Davina, in August class now, have often, how often should I strength train a week? I've been working out five to six times a week with no strength training. You have to figure that out for you, Davina. So if you can tag on 10 minutes or every other day, if that works for you, you got to figure that out for you. So make it make sense for your life. Josie, when I go to the gym, my blood sugar goes up during sleep. If you're working out late, there's a lot of things that could happen with that. So just track it and see if you can make sense of that is the best advice I can give you. Jean, in the in the course now, support is wonderful. Love it. Susan, all three reasons, add muscle and muscle burns fat. Balance is so important as we age. Also, this is month two of 24. I have feeling strong down 44 pounds since May 20th. Susan, congrats. Joining the September class. Patricia, yes, you are. Get on in with us. We, we, we can't wait to have you. It's super fun. You're going to love class. You're going to have all kinds of friends uh, that you're going to recognize from class here in some of these live coaching calls that we do. And um, it's super fun. Kate, is your story on your website? Did you lose weight doing this? Did I lose weight doing intermittent fasting? Yeah. Um, it took a while. I have a couple videos that I talk about it. Um, and I think I have it on an about so section on somewhere, probably YouTube, probably Facebook on my website. So just look for Diane Parham about and you'll probably find something. Aileen, I've been incorporating weights with a vibration plate lately. I find it really important to keep changing things up. Yeah, if you're that kind of person that gets mentally bored, um, and you need to do some things to keep your uh, brain in the game, do what you got to do. Vicki, I really needed to hear this today. Thank you, Diane. I do want to show up for my life. I want to look and feel beautiful. Yeah, and that starts with you, Vicki. Don't look for anything outside to confirm that. That starts with you and how you think about yourself. So start looking at yourself with those non-judgy eyes and you are already beautiful. You just got to keep believing that, right? You are beautiful. I can tell by your picture. I can tell by your eyes. You're a beautiful woman. So you're already beautiful. Now you're just going to enhance what you already have for sure. Robin, if you are new to strength training, what do you recommend? Any sources just starting the August class? Yeah, I always recommend with push-ups and planks. Push-ups, planks, and very basic squats. Um, because if you can build your core strength and your shoulder strength and your upper body strength, like a plank is a full body exercise and a push up also is a full body exercise. So if you can confidently with good form, hold a plank and start increasing the time in which you're in that position, you're going to get stronger. Same thing with push ups. If you can only do one push up today and you're doing it on your knees, do it with good form. Next week, try two push-ups. The next week, next week, start three push-ups. Like you just keep building on it. If you you don't need a fancy gym membership, you don't need fancy equipment. You have everything that you need, and you can just do weight-bearing exercises, and you will be strong and capable. Patricia, I've been doing strength training for two years due to a back bad back injury. Strength training is life changing, one hundred percent. Janelle, sixty six here, lost twenty pounds from IF since March, y'all. Listen to these ladies. Mary, July 22 grad, been missing the weekly videos, but still doing all the right things and getting all the great results, but hoping to get back to the lives, need the accountability. Girlfriend, Monday, Thursday, noon right here. You know that. And then Tuesday, Friday, 1 p.m. on Instagram. I'm here for you. Jan, hooray for the August class. Thank you so much, Diane. Super grateful. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of you in that August class, and you guys are doing great. And I love here's what I'm noticing about women who are who come to these lives and then jump into class. You guys are my voice. You're answering your fellow classmates' questions beautifully and I, it warms my heart. It makes me feel so proud. Um, you guys are doing the work and you're paying it forward and I appreciate you so much. The Straight Road, Jean here, July, July 22 grad. I strength trained for the power to lift grandchildren. Amen, sister. To play, to kayak with my husband, to handle adventures and be present with my loved ones, being vital in my own life. Mm, beautiful. Y'all, make sure you read that to yourself, right? That is a beautiful statement right there. We're so happy for you. Tracy, July 22, grad. My motivation for doing strength and stretching routine every day is that it keeps me out of physical therapy. It's great motivation. Another amen statement right there. Yes, we want to stay out of 
physical therapy for sure. Hey, you guys, if you're on YouTube and you see one of these nasty people leaving comments and you have the ability to block them in the comments, just block them because I oftentimes don't see them uh, until it's too late down the scroll. Joanna, CrossFit, best for me to keep me fit and in every way. Congratulations. Donna, July 22 grad. Thanks, Diane. Had blood work done for my physical. Everything is normal. Lost 10 pounds and two inches in my waist. Even my skeptic husband was surprised. Congratulations, my friends. We are a community of women who skip to our annual doctor's appointment. We skip to our annual dentist appointment or biannual if you go every six months. Like we should not fear going to get our hard work validated. So congratulations, Donna. I hope you, I hope you skipped in. I hope you will continue to skip into the doctor and just blow that doctor's mind um, because they won't expect that from you. So keep your doctor on the straight and narrow, my girlfriend. You're doing great things. The straight road. I'm doing my weight routine as I listen to you now. Fantastic. Jenny, August 22 class. I usually add a 15 minute strength training at the end of my dog walker run. Fantastic. I don't want to lose my muscle as, as I continue this life journey. Abs, arms, glutes. But now at 52, I prefer one uh, I prefer one set to exhaustion than done. Loving class and have been learning from you, uh, Diane, all summer and so inspired. Thank you. You're welcome, my friend. And I could tell by your picture too, you're a very happy, active person. So keep that up. Becky, I found weightlifting routine on YouTube. It's free. Thanks, Diane. I've learned so much from you. FYI, stop deodorants. It's so, I'm so amazed. I've been doing IF since March. Lost 35 pounds so far. So she's lost 35 pounds. She found a free weightlifting routine on YouTube. She's not spending money on deodorant anymore. Becky, you're winning in all areas of life, my friend. Congratulations. Mary, totally agree, Diane. Uh, weight training equals lower body fat percentage and smaller size of closing. Hit the weights, ladies. You've got this, 100%. Patricia, I can struggle. I can struggle climbing hills, but downhill is a killer on the knees. Yeah, so what you want to do is just kind of lower. I always say, like, bring your body down a little bit lower and just really figure out where your body needs to be when you're walking down those hills. And then if you're in a position, if you're if you're climbing hills and you can do something where you're doing like, if you're doing it out and back, of course, if you're going up hills, you have to go back down that hill. But if you can find a way that maybe you can find a route where the downhill isn't as challenging as the uphill part of it, that might help as well. Patricia, love having you here, my friend. Kathy, I turned 69 yesterday. Happy birthday. I do push-ups, sit-ups, and keep knee bends at home and lots of walking. I'm also signed up for the Spartan race in December, which sounds insane even to me, but I'm doing it. Do it. Go do it, my friend, and just have the time of your life. No judgment. Just go have a great time and then come back here in December and tell us all the amazing things that you accomplished. Sharon, since hearing you on YouTube, I started 24 hour of intermittent fasting, started your August class and um, am on my third week of fasting, feeling great and looking forward to starting strength training. Congratulations. Mary, in August class, I biked to work nine kilometers um, each way. Wow. Congratulations to you, my friend. Jody, I've been jo I'll be joining the September class too, starting 24 IF. For the meantime, I do a Bellicon rebounder at home for strength training. Fantastic. That is awesome. Reported bot. Thank you, my friend. Mary Moss. Hello. I'm in the August class and so excited to be here. Already see some of the mental fog disappearing. Y'all, they had two lessons. Mental fog is going away. Becky, I am in a kayak. Good for arm strength. 100%. Becky, I was in a kayak. Great for arm strength. 100%. The straight road. Uh. Oh, you guys are talking to each other. Okay, let's see if I can get these uh, done. Purred. Uh, Hi, Diane. Lost eight pounds in weeks. Been doing the 20-hour fasting for four hours. Feasting. Love your talks. Very, very inspiring. We'll be joining class soon. Hey, we'll be here whenever you're ready, my friend. KB, I'm on the go from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I run a thrift charity shop. I'm waiting till home at 6 p.m. Lots of weights in shop all day. Yeah, right. And that's that thing, KB, when you're at work, think about how can I squat and pick up. How can I pull using my muscles, right? Oftentimes when we're at work or we're doing everyday activities, we just kind of go through the motions. But when you're at work, think about how you can incorporate muscles and what kind of muscles you want to utilize when you're doing some of that everyday activity. And it's a game changer. Uh, Jody, hello from Portugal. I will be joining September class. Awesome. I think I read that one already. Uh, what about a trucker who's 58 and simply has one hour a day um, as I'm long haul. Well, if you stop to use the restroom, 
do a one minute plank, do some push-ups, do some squats, do some walking um, lunges. Like there's all kinds of ways to incorporate some things. Uh, P.S. Your fan is your tan is fantastic. I'm 63. Thank you, my friend. I had a little time at, at the jacuzzi in the backyard this weekend. Thank you, Jeanette. I added 75 push-ups on park benches positioned around the pond. I walk around at the park. Also do squats and stretches too. There you go. If you live around Jeanette, you guys should meet up to do a little park workout. Like you, we have to sometimes just use our imagination and look for the things we have around us so we don't have to fall into the trap of what we think it's supposed to be. Pam, August class, working the 24 fast strength training today includes building a retainer wall in my yard. That is strength training for sure. Um, Pat, Patricia, hello from Norway. Becky, I blocked and reported several nasty comments. Thank you, my friends. I appreciate that. I don't see them because I go through one comment at a time, but if they ever pop up, you have my permission to uh, make sure that the comment section is pleasant for you as well. Megan, strength training means to me, boring, repetitive weightlifting. Well, that doesn't sound very fun. Why don't you reframe how you think about it or maybe incorporate some activities that will change why it is you're doing things. And if you think about, man, if I do this type of exercise, I might be able to do this type of activity or this type of activity. And so make it more functional for you, my friend, and see if the thoughts change. Amelia, I climb nine flights of stairs two times a day at work. That's some strength training. Nancy, July 22 grad, restarted rowing after slacking for about six months. Well, my friends, sometimes we just have seasons right? Where we pause. I just took three weeks off because I twisted my ankle. Like I said, I'm just that person, right? And so I took three weeks off and I just gave myself permission to let my body heal. There's no negative thoughts about it. No negative mindset. I don't call myself names. I just let life happen, right? And we have to learn how to do that too. So you took a pause for six months and now you're back in. So welcome back. Uh, and Figure out the next pause you're going to have and see what you can do to manage that. Clarissa, aloha. I hope that means you're in Hawaii. Trying to start my workout along with strength training today, along with my IF with hopes that this will give me more energy. Walking, I hope, is a start. Walking is a start. We never want to talk about, and I'll, I'll leave you guys with this. Be careful of the words you use. We talk about this a lot here in our community. Just, but, and only are very limiting words that we often use around our physical fitness. I just went for a walk. I could only do 20 minutes. Um, those kind of things create this mindset in our mind that we're not good enough. Everything that you do throughout your day where you are moving your body is enough it's enough. And then we build from there. So make sure you're careful about those descriptive words that you're throwing in that are going to make you feel like you're not doing enough. I promise you you're doing enough. Uh, Brenda, I just jumped on. Not sure if you discuss resistance bands, your thoughts. Uh, thank you. Love what you're doing. I think that if resistance bands are working for you, then resistance bands are working for you. Resistance bands, bags of sugar, cans of coffee, bricks around your yard. You got to do what you got to do, girl. And so if that's working for you, then that's working for you. With shoveling clay uh, and rock in the yard to, uh, to back still holes for our new fence, very hard work. So that's my strength training for the day. Amen. I was out pulling weeds this morning before I went uh, for my little walk on my treadmill today up hills. So 30 minute walk up hills. That's a little workout for me, but it's the little workout that I needed to get into this mindset to be here today. So we have to make sure that we're okay with those words we're using. I am okay with the words that I use to describe what it is I'm doing for myself. Be okay with the words that you're just, that you're using to describe what you're doing for yourself. Donna, you are just fabulous. You are such a gorgeous lady. May God continue to bless what you do for everyone. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Okay. So last thing before we go, because I get this question all the time, what am I doing for my skin? So every Monday and every Thursday before I come on live, I have a routine where I use this Frey Detox Me. Let me see if I can get that in there where you guys can see it. There is a description in the Facebook description, uh, and there's a description box in the YouTube description. Go look for Frey. You can get the link to their site, and I have a discount code. This is what I use every Monday and Thursday to make sure my face is good 
for presentation on a video. I, it detoxes inflammation in my face. It makes me look bright and shiny. It helps uh, uh, reduce anything that I had going on in my face that I wasn't happy with. It's a complete detox. So if you want something like that, it's super easy to use. Clean product. It is tested by me. Just go to the comment or the description box on Facebook or YouTube. Look for Frey. It's F-R-E. There's a link and a discount code. Go look for Detox Me. Add this in two days a week. Tell me what you think. It is the best product I've ever used. Okay, that is it for today. I will see you guys. Uh, Michelle, I lost weight first couple of weeks, but now not losing. I work out every morning and cycle on weekends. Not sure why weight loss has come to a pause. Because your body's adjusting. Let it be what it is. If you think you're doing everything right, give it time and space, and the weight loss will come back, my friend. Okay, so... Meet me back here on Thursday. We're going to have another topic we're going to talk about. If you have a topic you want me to add in, all you got to do is message me. I will add it into my lineup. If you're looking for anything that I use in my everyday life, it is always in the description box. There's also a place on the For Today's Aging Woman site where I have a link where if you want to get things like this that I use that I have tested and have approved for uh, this community, you can go there. If you want to get into class, go to fortodaysagingwoman.com. There's a button you can push there. You can get information or get on my email list or you can register today. Lots of places for you guys to find some really good things to enhance what it is you're doing with this lifestyle. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. We've had a great 45 minute discussion about strength training. If you have a block about strength training, do a list like this. Open up your mindset to some very simple things you can incorporate. Hinge, squat, push, pull. How can you make that happen for yourself in a very easy way? If you need me, I'm here. You can email me. You can private message me. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow on Instagram at 1, Thursday here on YouTube and Facebook, and Friday again on Instagram at 1. If you're in my intermittent fasting for today's Aging Woman course for August, I'll see you in the comment section a little later today. Have a good day, you guys.